Hi guys, welcome to Jay Today. Please subscribe if you're not already. So John Yates has been banned from YouTube for a full week now. After that video, what was it called? Um, the Continuance, where he was drunk as usual uh, with that new girl Penelope that looks like she's underage and really shouldn't be on with a perverted granddad. But anyway, um, it was struck the first time and he managed to get it taken away. But he hasn't managed to get it taken away again this time. He said he never put it back up, which he actually did. Once I took the strike away, he put the um, the video back up again. And obviously other people went and struck it. So he's suspended for a week for harassment, which he said he was going to appeal. It's obviously not gone through and the suspension has stuck. Why he put it up after the first time of it being struck? I suppose he was just being cocky and he was just that drunk as usual. So we can't do lives at the moment. I'm not sure, even sure if he can post like normal videos that is like pre-recorded, but he doesn't do them anyway because he doesn't know how to edit because he's stupid, even though he's got four degrees that he basically just printed off the internet that we all know. So um, so he's over on a couple of other channels at the moment. He was on Just Jules earlier and he looks like he's drinking heavily. So he'll probably be on his Instagram later on having a good old rant as uh, he normally does. He'll probably end up getting bad on there, uh, Big Julie. Uh, anyway, he's got a subscription on his... Um, Instagram now for four ninety nine a month, so you can get to pay double now. You can pay on YouTube and you can go on Instagram, and you can get to see the crap content as usual, all these reposted screenshots and all that kind of crap. Whoever's paying double, you have to be absolutely stupid to pay on YouTube. And he's, he cancelled himself on YouTube. He said he wanted to cancel himself. He's managed to do it. Big pat on the back, Jonathan. Everyone give him a round of applause. He finally managed to do it to himself, only for a week though. We know. He's going to end up getting struck again because he just can't keep his mouth shut. He gets too drunk. So anyone who's paying on YouTube and that has now gone over to Instagram, maybe just cancel your YouTube subscription. There's no point paying twice, is there, for the same crap content. His thing on Instagram at the moment is about Annie and, um, I want to say Robert, uh, about the son who passed away was it last week or the week before, talking about people using it as clickbait. Now, if you go to John's channel, you'll notice that he did a video on this monetized, like the day afterwards, um, reporting on this, making money on this. But yet he's up on Instagram pretending like he's all godly and, you know, all moral and all that. When he went straight on, monetized it, had no problem making money off of it. But now all of a sudden he's jumped on this bandwagon. Whoever actually believes this, Annie and Robert, he was the first one who reported on this. No one else did. The video's still up and the video's still monetized. He's still making money off this. Now, if we all remember Dirty Dave, that I've now, now named him anyway. Remember the guy that sent me the DM? Well, it was an email of a video of himself doing stuff to himself, shouting abuse at me. So I sent him an email back. Now, I know a few people wanted to see the like email, but it had that much swearing in it that I can't put it up. I was just like blacking out every other word in it. And also, I was going to like put his voice up, but every single other word was also swearing, called me a B and an S. Anyway, he sent another one, but the second one's not as good. I was very disappointed. It's like he has someone telling him what to say and telling him what to do. It's really not as good. Did you ever go see My Girl at the cinema when you were like younger? And then you were really excited to go watch My Girl too. But like, how much better is it going to get when the main character died in the first thing from bee stings? And like, that was kind of like the Dave thing. I'd seen everything. We'd had the big finale in the first one. So the second one, not so good. Very disappointed. Now, I think you can do better. I'm going to give you another chance, Dirty Dave, before I block you on my emails. Maybe try doing without swearing so everyone can hear your voice and we can all just try to decide who you are. Because I think you might be someone's husband that's just kind of shouting abuse at me because they're telling you to. So I didn't really need to see everything, but I mean, it did add a little bit extra to the video, to be fair. Anyways, so big Julie's been missing for a while now. I'm sure she'll be back soon enough because we all know she can't help herself getting involved in all the John stuff, feeling sorry for him and all, you know, Jesus, he's lost his whole week's income now. Well, that must be like 10 bucks or something like that. Everyone will have to put together to get him some sandwiches. And a bit more box wine. I'm pretty sure we'll probably have midweek meltdown. What day's today? What day are we on? We Wednesday. Yeah, I'm pretty sure by the weekend we're gonna have the full full on meltdown. He'll have begged enough to get a few more cash apps in and stuff like that. It's also Cody's birthday coming up, so they're both gonna be very drunk. We all know he likes a good old birthday bonanza. So alright guys, I'll try to keep you updated on everything. Talk to you all later. Bye.